So our next topic is how to copy a file which has a space in its name from one folder to other folder. Okay, a file having a space in its name. So how do you copy that? There are, there are difficulties. So how do you really do it? We are going to see in this video. So let's move on to our screen without making any delay. This okay. So first see the first way. First thing, let's choose from where we would like to copy the folder. So this is the test folder I have created and I have created some test documents and you can see the first one has a spa uh, space, this has a space, this is, doesn't have a space, this has a uh, hyphen, right? So with all these symbols, will you be able to copy the files or not? We are going to see that. So let's decide a folder where we will have all these kind of files. Let's use a change directory cd and paste it. So our command prompt will move on to that specific folder and do the rest of the things that we are going to define. So once it goes there, what I will do, I'll use a for loop. Okay, I'll use a for loop and inside the for loop, right? So how the for loop works, I have shown you this uh, in the previous videos. So let's say I'm writing percentage percentage G. Okay, I'm using any variable and I'm going to say in and here I am going to say inside this folder, if you find any .txt documents with any kind of a name, star means with any kind of a name, if you find a .txt, then what you do, let's see this first, okay? Then I am saying do echo percentage percentage g, okay? Now we will see, is it going to show us the folder which has a space or not? So the uh, not the folder, any file which has a space, is it going to display it or not? First of all, we need to understand that, okay? So let's save it and let's run the script, okay? Now, if I run the script, you can see all these files with a space also has appeared. All the files, you can see under uh, hyphen, atwal, all these things has appeared without any problem. So it is appearing. Now, what is the problem then? The problem is when I have to, let's, let me put a parenthesis here so that we can write multiple blocks of code. Okay, it's the same thing. Now, what is the problem here? The moment I say, you know, copy, let's say I'm writing a copy command. Now I'm saying copy and I'm saying percentage percentage G, you copy this whatever file names one by one, it will come, right? So we saw those files, right? let's say first file will come so first you move this then second you move this so uh, while the loop is running it will all one by one it will copy everything so i'm saying copy this to another folder called backup folder okay so let me delete let me clear the files inside so the backup folder so this is the backup folder so i'm going to mention this if there is any space in your folder name put a double quote otherwise not required so now you can see i have written this if i save this script and run this What's going to happen? It is throwing error. And if I go back to uh, the system cannot find the file specified. And if I go back, you can see test one, test two, test three, even with the hyphen, it has come. What did not come is four, five, six, one, two, three with the space. These two files did not move. So one of the simple way, very simple way to fix is all you do in this percentage percentage G, you put that in a double code. Okay, this is a pretty simplest way simplest way and save it i am going to show you the other way now if i run this <clears throat> you can see it is saying one file copied one file copied now if i go to backup file you can see all the six files got copied including the test space one two three test space four uh, there are multiple spaces here okay four five six so everything got copied without any problem so this is one way that you have learned i am going to teach you another way using the F switch forward slash F switch. What is that? I'm going to show you. So this much you have understood. So let me erase this. Okay. Let me, let me, uh, yeah, let's write it from the beginning. So this much you have understood. Now I'll be using something called F switch. Okay. Now this F switch has got something. Let's say your file name has got a space, right? And by, you know, uh, you don't want to use a double code. You want to use this F switch. That is the simplest way. I think you can go for that. But again, anybody who would like to learn this F switch, I'm going to show you. Now here, what I'm going to do, I'll put a double quote and there is something called delims. Okay. There's something called delims equals to. So what is the meaning of delims? F means what? Files. Okay. Remember F means files. To go through files. F. Okay. 
so files and what is the meaning of delims delims means space delimiter means what let's say i'm writing rakesh comma john comma uh, mohan so this comma is a separator right delim means separator remember delim delimiter what you call delimiter or delims is nothing but it's a separator a, a, a symbol which which is going to separate multiple words right like we write rakesh comma uh, john comma mohan so this comma is a separator it could be a space it could be a semicolon it could be any symbol which is which acts like a separator between words okay so that is the meaning now when i write delims equals to and i mention here a comma that means the file name has a comma or the file has a comma in it let's say i am not mentioning anything here it will take it will understand that you are telling space for space you don't put a space you just leave it as it is it will understand it is a space or a tab okay so that so this is how to indicate space so i am telling check the files which has a space that is the meaning of this one check the files which has a space and how to check here start.txt now in this one this is a small change you have to code this one in double double quotes okay start.txt has to be there in the double quotes why because this start.txt can have a space right so this space you are putting you know you are giving this as an input to this and it will do the job of you know including that space a file name with with, with a space it will include and it will pass that output to percentage percentage g getting it so remember to put a double code otherwise this this will not function okay so this one you have understood until now now let's write the command okay let's say i am going to say echo and i'm going to simply print this okay simply print and see what is coming as the output let's save it and uh, let's run this uh, script okay so what happened um, you know it, it did not really uh, execute anything okay person is person is d and it did not execute anything now what is the uh, what is the problem here uh, so here i have not given a space okay let's run it again okay <clears throat> so what is appearing as a output it is simply saying start.txt it is not really showing you all the files one by one okay however what you do after instead of echo so echo has got start.txt so any file within this folder uh, starting with any name should be given to it so this won't work like that like we did in percentage percent the previous example we have seen it doesn't work that way it works in a slightly different way i have to write the command here so if you see this f delims requires a command uh, to act on something for example here i will say <coughs> copy okay copy and then i would like to uh, pass this percentage percentage g to the backup file okay the backup file is this one so i'm going to paste it here now you see what's going to happen so you can see it has shown all the test one four five six this is okay six files got copied okay now it automatically gives you that it shows you the output you don't have to go for echo so if you see this this command works slightly in a different way it works in a different way but again if i go back to the backup file you can see all the files got copied okay let me delete once again delete and let's uh, run this okay so you can see all the files has been shown it is saying six files got copied now if i go to the backup uh, file backup folder you can see all the files are present okay all the files are present here getting it so we have understood how things are working okay you can see all the files are present here so these are the two different ways to move a file with which uh, which has a space okay the simple one if you remove this uh, space uh, double quote from this one even this is not going to function okay this is going to throw an error you can see the system cannot find the file uh, start.txt so all i have to do is put a double quote and it's going to work getting it so this is a new learning make a note of this and do bit of practice okay got copied as you see all the files are there so all right guys so uh, that's it for this specific topic we are going to move on to our next topic